Mississippi State University's College of Business and Industry, and the Thad Cochran Endowment for Entrepreneurship heard the president and CEO of BCT Partners speaking and doing a little question and answer at the hump. And who is that exactly? That's the multi-million dollar entrepreneur and winner of Apprentice Season 4. There are people whose names I don't know, whose faces I'll never see. People who couldn't spell college, but kicked out the door to let me go to college. And I can go on down the line of other things that I've been able to do that weren't enough enough, I wouldn't be right. So I have, to me, a responsibility to take advantage of that. And that's motivating me. That's motivating me. Motivation indeed as Dr. Pinkett enlightened the audience as he so eloquently discussed not only education and academic success, but technology innovations and career management. If you miss Dr. Pinkett, the author of Campus CEO and Black Faces in White Places will be in Jackson on October 27th at the 6th Annual Mississippi Minority Business Alliance Award Ceremony. For Take 30, I'm Chris Floyd. What had some Mississippi State students skipping class Monday? It would probably be MTVU's Gamers Ball Tour. The tour was presented by Xbox, Burger King, and Amped Mobile, to name a few. With 10 stops on the tour, MTVU wanted to make one of its stops at the junction. Along with giving away free stuff and having a smoking DJ, the tour allowed students to play the most popular online first-person shooter, Counter-Strike, for the PC, and allowed students to try out several games for the Xbox and Xbox 360 platforms. Gamers had a chance to test their skills at games like Saints Row, Madden 07, NCAA 07, Halo 2, and Dance Dance Revolution 3. Students also have a chance to win an Xbox 360 and Xbox Live system from MTVU. Students and community members um, test out these games for free and have a couple of tournaments going on and if you win the tournament, you get the game for free. After MTVU stop here at the junction, I'm definitely thinking about getting an Xbox. With seven stops remaining on the tour, the Gamers Ball will be at the University of Alabama November 2nd. For Take 30, I'm Chris Floyd. The Mississippi State Bulldogs may be in the doghouse, but the fans aren't giving up yet. The Bulldogs haven't been able to secure a victory, but the fans' morale seems as high as it's ever been, with children young and old participating in all the tailgating festivities. A few Bulldog fans took time out from tailgating to discuss Bulldog pride in our current football season. Maybe, maybe down the season, but you know what? Uh, we should maybe have a good time supporting the team no matter what. It's what it's all about, Bulldog pride. You know, for the old Miss Lights from Egg Bowl, and you know, all my friends are just like, oh, you know, I don't want something to happen, but we'll stick behind him. You know, we do what we can. That's the tone for most Bulldog fans, is they literally have maroon pumping through their veins. It's in the blood, man. It's been coming here since I was born. Whole families come here. Uh, love it up here. Almost done, but I'll be a Bulldog forever. We're going to win today. We're going to win by at least 10 or 2 touchdowns. It's going to be bad. While some fans have exaggerated hopes for the season, other fans have a more realistic outlook on the year. Well, I mean, we're disappointed like the coaches and players are, but we're, we're uh, hopeful and we'll continue to support them. Support is just what they need as the Bulldogs hope to improve on last season by generating offense and utilizing its recruits. For MSU's Take 30, I'm Chris Floyd.